Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an M53, it's an M55 actually. It's a tier, tier 9 American SPG. It's located on the eastbourne of Sand River and it's under the command of WR104. Now, WR104 is actually a beta player. That is, he was with the game right from the very start. So he's been in the game a long time, he's got a lot of experience. And, uh, well, this is a fairly good RT game. It's on my favourite map. I think, arguably, um, Sand River is one of my favourites. It's a good open map. There's very few obstructions that get in the way of RT in this uh, particular map. And WR104 is not happy with his position just yet. Okay, now he's ready. going to start aiming at the enemy any second. Or is he? No, he's decided he doesn't want it here. He's going to move. <laughs> now, going to the, the uh, south end of the map. From here, you can actually shoot straight up the river valley. The problem is that um, you can actually also be fairly easily seen from this position. Centurion 7-1 tier 9 British medium tank he's lining up a shot now that gun that tank's got good done depression rounds out oh lovely hit 380 hit points that wasn't a penning shot this gun will do 1050 alpha if it does pen the target unfortunately it didn't pen there but it's still done a lot of damage and he did pick up some stun assist he's just changed position oh he took some more damage there and now he's dead Standard B got him. Right, this time we've got a Centurion 5-1. Now that's the Australian version of the Centurion. It's got the barbecue on the back. No, literally, it does have a box on the back. It does look like a barbecue. Rounds out. This should be good. It is a direct hit again. 344, but no pen. Now you can see that WR is changing position after each shot, and that's good because it means that uh, there's less likelihood he's going to be counter battery. But ideally, you do want to move some distance away from your previous firing position. If you only move a short distance, you are going to pick up some stun if the enemy does fire accurately at the last place you play uh, played from. And in fact, actually, we did make that comment on the replays that were done by Klaus Kellerman because he only moved a very very short distance in fact actually he just drove around and drove straight back to the same position and that can actually result in getting hit and he's just got another hit on a T32 in the riverbed so if you can change position move about 100 meters or if not 100 meters just move enough distance away so you're not going to get stunned if the enemy does fire at your previous position not everybody gets RT right, in fact, because most people don't play RT enough to understand the mistakes they make when they, they do play RT. Now we've got an E100, he's gone over the top and he's now, yep, and that one hit the water, that's his first bad shot, but it was RNG that made the shell fall short. Now that E100 has overextended, none of his teammates have actually come with him, although the T32 looks like he's coming around the corner now. And he's just been wiped out. The Type 61 got him. Now the reload's almost complete. WR-104's reload time is 34.57 seconds. But this is an 8 inch shell. So it does take a little longer. And the E-100's now basically in cover on the other side of that rock. And ideally what you do is choose a different target to fire at. But he stunned the E-100 there. This firing position is not ideal for hitting any tank that actually has come round the corner. It's good for shooting up the river valley if they haven't come round the corner. And the corner I'm, I'm talking about is that one located at G5. And I think he just spotted there's an enemy coming through from the north. It's just been spotted in the pass at B0. There it is, Zanuda 16. He's dialing in on the position, ready to shoot, and we lost sight of him, but he's fired the round in and unfortunately didn't get a hit. I think that Uda's just pulled back in time to avoid getting hit by the shell. But he's getting close to the rock, and there's Udes again, 
And it, he might have actually lost some hit points from that last shell. He's certainly taking some fire. And if he returns fire, he's going to get an 8 inch shell. Let's see if he gets a paddling. Here we go. Almost ready. WR's lined it up. Rounds out. Oh, and he pulls back in time, but it's not enough. And he's splash killed. So that's WR104's first kill of the game. Now you notice some of his teammates are actually staying rather close to the base. In fact, they're almost lining up to shoot the enemy as they make their advance. There's a Skoda T50 further up the, the, the uh, southern side of the map. And he spotted that Centurion again. Now we're almost loaded. The Centurion's going to try and make use of that ridge line, so he's going to stay fairly static. Lining up the shot. Rounds out. Here we go. Direct hit! 227. Unfortunately, it just wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. But it's pretty bad that these tanks are just sitting here doing nothing. They should be active. They should be going out there to try and find the enemy and shoot them. The scores are even at the moment. And I think the reason they're even is that so many on WR104's team are not just not playing. They're not taking part. Okay, it's loaded. And now we've got a ship bomb. The FV4005 Stage 2 rounds out. Lovely direct hit. And that was a pen. 1,025 hit points. A definite pen. He hit the thin armor around the gun right at the top and that ship barn at this moment is really hurting now he's changed angle and unfortunately that rock is in the way he changed his aim and didn't realize at the time until, until he saw the red line that he was uh, just too close to the rock if he'd actually fired he probably would have damaged himself in the process but he's going after the ship barn again and there's a scorpion now can he get two for one there Unfortunately, the ship bomb pulls away from the scorpion, but he's going to go after the scorpion. Rounds out. Splashes him for 249. He's working this corner quite well. Unfortunately, this is also quite a well-known firing point, so you have to watch out for that. Enemy RT might look for any sign of tracer from this corner. Quite frequently I've seen Arty or been in a battle on Sand River and we found the enemy Arty just sitting on this corner, tending to monopolize it. Okay, strip 103, using the wrong form of cover, and he's just paid for it with a 475 hit point hit. That was a non-pen, but he can't afford to take hits like that. And finally, the team are actually getting engaged with the enemy. The Standard B, the Scorpion G, and the Force are actively now hunting down the enemy. And we have a one tank advantage at the moment. Now, let's see if um, WR104 can get some more hits. I'm pretty sure he can. That Striv is not moving, and he should be. He should be trying to drive away as fast as possible. And, oh, he fired just as the enemy was killed. So he's wasted that shell. The scorpion got him. But there is one of the enemy RTs. It's the M53, M55. There's, a, there's two enemy RTs. The other one's an M40, M43. We're dialing in on the M53. He's running. Or is he? No, he's stopped at the top. Now he's running. He's moving backwards. And... No, he hasn't. He didn't shoot. And the reason he didn't shoot is because he lost sight of that M53, M55. He couldn't be certain if it was still there. And from the angle, it would have been very difficult for him to get the shell onto the target. The Skoda is in sight at the moment, so I think he might decide to go for that. The standard B has gone up onto those heights. The M53, M55 wouldn't have moved too far away. There's the T44-100. He's a splash kill. And he's been killed. The enemy is starting to fold. 
unfortunately, our Skoda T50 just killed the, well, the Skoda T50 just killed our Fosh. Round out on the Skoda and splash him for 379. And there is the M40. Now, long reload. And there's the M53, M55. And he's been killed. So there's only three enemies left. They must all be in the northwest corner of the map because it's the only area that's uh, undiscovered yet. And, oh, no, they're not. There's a SU-101. He's actually in the north end. And he's just been found by the Type 61. We're dialing in on him. Rounds out. This should soften him up. 201 hit points. It's nice. Now we've got an object 268 up there. So if he does come through that pass, he's going to get spotted. The Type 61 is probably going to be very reluctant to take him head on. Because, of course, you don't want to get in front of the pointy thing. Because that can actually be quite nasty. But I'm pretty sure that that SU will be ready for the Type 61 when he does come. Has he found him? No. He's moved. He anticipated Type 61 was coming around that corner and changing direction. And, well, we're aiming for the standard B. He's sitting in the enemy cap, and I think that's an AFK vehicle. Rounds out. And we got the kill. 229. And that's the end of the game. The SU was taken out in the north. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it was the second class tank of the W1104 in the M53, M55. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 13 in that game. He got a gorse medal for doing more damage than 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle and a confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. He managed to get a win eight of 5,315 out of that game. So let's have a look at team scores. Well, funnily enough, he actually did get the highest damage in that game. He got 4,188 hit points of damage overall. Um, so yes, he did do a lot of damage, but no high caliber. And we'll have to find out why on the next page, if it, if it may be that he did do some team damage. Um, he didn't get the highest number of kills. That actually went to the standard B. He got three kills and W1104 got only two, but that's alongside several other players who got the same. And when it came to um, base XP, well, the standard B got the highest amount again, 1,057. And then the M40, M43 got 918. And finally, W1104 managed to get 886. So... 15 shots fired, 7 direct hits, 2 penetrations, uh, splash damage on 11, damage of 4,188 hit points, and all of it was at more than 300 meters. He damaged 11 of the enemy and killed 2, so that's a 9 differential there, that's why he earned the Confederate. And he also did damage, stun assistance damage of 251 hit points off 10 stuns. On a free to play account, he earned 30,954 credits and he had a personal reserve bonus running at the same time for 15,477, so his total came to 46,431. But um, there's no team damage in here, so it's very curious as to why he didn't actually pick up the high caliber because he should have qualified. Um, and I can only think that it wasn't 20% of the enemy hit point in total altogether, and that's why he didn't qualify for the high caliber. But he should have, by all rights, I think. And after ammunition resupply, we can see he took away a profit of 18,381 credits. If he'd actually had a premium account, that would have been 41,597, more than double. He received six bonds for getting the Gauze Medal and the Confederate. And he also picked up 886 base XP. And there was no multipliers, so that's all he took away. But a solid game there by WR104 in the M53, M55. And, um, yeah. I, I, I think I feel a bit cheated that you didn't get the high caliber there, especially considering you didn't do any team damage. I thought that that, that must be the reason why you didn't actually get the uh, uh, the team damage um, uh, medal, but uh, the high caliber medal. But there you go. Now let's have a quick check to find out which ones did he pen. Well, I'm pretty sure it's the FB4005 is one of them. Yes, there you go. 1,025 hit points, one pen. 
and which else which tank did he also bend ah it was the standard b the one that was in the cap at the end that was afk 229 hit points he did pen it he took it out with a penning shot so there you go if you enjoyed that replay please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel uh, we do focus mostly on arty but we there are other channels which uh, uh, have um, great tank replays uh, we would recommend so uh, do pop over there and see what you can find i think you'll probably find there's some pretty interesting games um so thanks for watching this one